How did you find the challenge? Let me know in the comments how you got on with it. I'm sure you did fine. And now we've got the sort of basic structure of our room set up. We need to start preparing the scene to add things to it. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to add everything we've created so far to a layer. And that means that we'll be able to turn that layer off or hide the layer so that when we're creating the next piece of geometry, which is going to be a table, this won't get in the way and distract us. So by default, you should have your layers window open down here. If you don't, just switch into the modeling standard workspace should put that there. You can see that we have lots of options here, but there are currently no layers set up. So what we will do is use a marquee selection to select everything in our scene so far. And then from the layers menu, so we're just gonna click here. The first option is create empty layer, which we can do, but what that will mean is that we will then have to add all of this geometry to the layer afterwards. But because we've got this geometry selected, we can create a layer that includes it with create layer from selected. So we'll give that a click and we can see that that's now created a layer down here and it's called layer one. If you haven't already noticed, I really like to rename things as quickly as I can. So I'll double click on this layer and we'll give this a name. For this layer, I'm just gonna call it something like room. That, that kind of says what I need it to say. One thing to keep in mind about giving your layers names is it will not let you have any spaces in your naming and it will also not let you name your layers the same as any piece of geometry that's in your scene. So, room, save. Then we have some options here. This V is visibility and we can toggle that on and off. Shortly we will toggle that off so that we're ready for the next step. But we've also got this P here and what that means is whether or not the geometry can be seen during playback. So if you're doing animation you can have certain things turn off when you play so that you can improve the performance of playback, get a better frame rate. And then the final one here is that you can have these letters. So there is T, and that means that the objects in that layer are templated, which just puts them into a wireframe mode that can't be selected, which is good for sort of lining things up. You can also cycle that through to an R. This means referenced, so you can see them as normal, but you're unable to select them, so you can't make any unwanted changes in that way. And then you can toggle that back around to nothing. So the last thing for us to do on this step then is just to hit the V so that that removes the room for now and that will make the scene ready for the next step in which we'll create the first piece of our tabletop. So I will see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.